there, my name is Johnny Pai. Uh, I work with Man and Machine, and this is going to be uh, an introduction to Autodesk Docs. So first of all, more of you might have access to this than you think. It's just been released with the AEC collection. Um, so if it's 7th of February, all single user subscriptions to AEC collections will have access to this. Multi-user access might differ slightly, um, but if you have any questions as a multi-user, do get in touch with us um, and we can help out. Um, so like I said, this is going to be an introduction into Autodesk Docs um, and what you can do with the platform that comes with that AEC collection. Um, so first off, what we're looking at here is the landing page, acc.autodesk.com forward slash projects. Um, this is a landing page, not just for the new platform, Autodesk uh, Construction Cloud, but also for BIM 360 uh, projects as well. So if you have been working on BIM 360 projects and you are looking at moving to the new platform that's available to you, uh, you can actually access all the projects in one place in this uh, interface that we have here. And they're all indexed and searchable. So even if you've got projects from other companies that you've been given permissions to, everything is searchable in this one unified space. So let's jump into a project. Uh, we're going to jump into this London Hospital project here. I'm just going to head to the Docs module. So um, with Autodesk Docs, you will get Autodesk Docs itself. You actually get Insight as well. And you'll also get the project admin and account admin, depending on if you are those users uh, who have access to those things. Um, but what comes with Autodesk Docs is everything that we can see here. So first, we've got the files area. This is where we can create our folders. We can put all of our documents, uh, design files, etc. Um, we can pretty much put anything we want in here. It might not be viewable on the browser, but we can store anything we want. It is a unlimited amount of space that you have access to, unlimited amount of projects that you can create inside this platform. Um, and what we'll do is we'll look at some of the functionality uh, in a moment inside the files area. So just to go over some of the other functions that you have in here that I won't be going into too much detail about, but what you can do is you can actually create in the reviews area quite complex review processes. Um, so you can actually create one to six step approval processes within Autodesk Docs. This allows you to push documents um, to different folders. So for example, in the files there, we have work in progress and shared folders. We could um, set up a review process that allows us to push documents from work in progress to shared, and it will go through an approval process before it moves into or is copied into the, the shared or moves its way up those folders. We also have transmittals. This allows us to um, create spaces or sorry, packages of documents that we can then send to users on uh, that are a part of this project. So perhaps we were, if we were looking at bidding and we were looking at creating a package of documents we wanted to send off um, for maybe bidding, we might use something like transmittals. It gives us a nice paper trail of the things that we are transmitting to others on the project. We also have issues um, inside of Autodesk Docs. This really allows you to uh, create um, communication and open up communication within the platform. So for example, maybe I have a designer and a design manager. The designer has finished some uh, piece of work, a model, and the design manager is checking it. Um, the design manager then has some comments and or things that they want to send back to the um, user. And there is markups in this system, so you can create markups, but you could also create an issue. If you know that perhaps there's going to be a bit of backwards and forwards, an issue might be the right way of um, going about that communication. So an issue allows you to create statuses that you can then um, push backwards and forwards between users. And everything that's um, put into those issues is stored and it's trackable. And then you've got a paper trail of whatever that issue was. And then all the metadata that's put into those issues, you can create reports for. So if you're a manager who's looking to get some metrics out on a weekly basis, you can actually create reports inside of Autodesk Docs based on those, um, those issue metrics as well. So what we'll do is we'll look at some of the functionality. Um, I won't go too much into detail into some of the other functions in here. It's really just, again, an overview of what this can do at a very high level. Um, so if we dive into some of the folders that we have here, what we're going to do is we'll look at the, the, the possibility um, of this system. So first of all, the way that this is set up, um, I'm an admin, so I see all these folders. But one of the really useful functions inside of Autodesk Docs is the way that you can set permissions. So for example, here I have four different disciplines, and I would, in the work in progress folder, not want any of those disciplines really to be able to see any of the others folders at a work in progress stage. So for what I can do 
for example, with the architects is I can actually group users by a role. So if I just type in architects in here and we can actually very granular, granularly um, set their permission levels. So if I wanted this architect to just be able to view the files and not be able to download them, I've got the, that capability all the way up to a managed um, capability, which would allow any architects to have full, full administrative controls. They'd be able to add users to this, just this folder um, and, and edit the folder structure in any way that they want. In this case, um, what I would probably want is a view download and the ability to be able to publish markups, um, perhaps an upload as well. Um, in this case, I'd probably choose create, but you can see that there's lots of different options for permissions. And if I hit add now, it means that any architects added to this project are gonna have access to this folder. I can also actually dish out permissions based on the company and also individuals as well, but it's done on a folder basis. Um, so you've got lots and lots of control here in terms of how you actually permission out and, and give information to users on a project. So let's dive into one of these folders. If I head to the architects folder, I've got some files saved in here. So the system will take, like I say, pretty much any file type. It might not be viewable in a browser. Most files are actually viewable in the browser. Um, but you can store anything you like in here. So if we just dive into the Revit folder, we've got a Revit project here that we can look at. Um, what you can do with, with Autodesk Docs is you can work directly from uh, the cloud. You can work directly from one of these folders. I could go into Revit now and I could, in theory, open up this project. Um, I can only do that if that project is a non-work shared project. So if it's a standalone project with no work sets against it, um, I can work directly off Autodesk Docs. As soon as I need to work share and I need to work with a team of people in this file, I need to use Collaborate Pro. So if that is of interest to you, uh, do get in touch and we can take you through that. So inside of the Autodesk Docs system, I can publish whatever file, whatever views I want from Revit, um, whatever 2D sheets that I want as well. So I can control what people are viewing. Um, I'm able to compare versions against each other. So as I'm working on this, perhaps maybe a design manager or someone like that wants to just quickly check that the changes they've asked are being made. There's the ability to be able to just compare the versions against each other. And this is quite a big project and it's very easy to find things that you want to on this project. So for example, maybe I just want to see the doors that have been modified in this project because I've, I've specifically asked for a door to be moved. So if I choose my modified, I filter down to the architects and this is gonna be an architectural element filter by doors, find that one door that's been changed, it'll take me directly to it and then I can have a look at the change. This will also work in a 2D format as well. So I could equally go into the sheet and it will give me the same options in terms of finding this particular change. So it's very easy to find a change on a very large project. And all of this is exportable to Excel so you can keep a track of all of those changes being made. So Revit files work very well. There's lots of different things that you can do inside of there as well. Um, you can also create issues in the model as well to communicate to people. PDFs are viewable. Again, you've got the compare feature in here. It works very slightly differently, but again, really, really useful for those managers to be able to track the changes on the project. So in this PDF, I just wanna know what's changed on the first floor here. I can overlay the two documents on top of each other and I can really easily see version one here in blue, version two in red. So I've got some doors here. Um, so I've got a door here that's been added uh, and the blue was the wall that's now removed. And again, a door over here that's just been moved. So very easy to find, very small changes on a very big project if needed. You also have the ability to be able to view NWCs, NWDs as well. You can view documents. If you have a license of Office 365, you can actually open it, edit, any of these documents in here as well. So it isn't just for design, you can actually store all your documents in here if you wish as well. We have um, the ability to be able to upload DWGs. Um, I can actually work directly from um, AutoCAD on these DWGs if I wanted to, in much the same way as I could from Revit. Um, in Autodesk 2022, which has just been released, there's some really nice options to be able to um, synchronize your DWGs with Autodesk Docs. So thanks very much for listening. If there are any questions or if you'd like a demo or a discussion about Autodesk Docs, 
please get in touch with us at Man and Machine.